All right, so I thought I'd just share this. Uh, this is its final version of my uh, plastic rivet pliers. It works great. Uh, just a couple quick things before I demonstrate how well it works. Um, just, uh, so this is nylon, and it's pretty stringy. Prints pretty hot, and ends up spider webby. And I took most of them off already. Still a few remaining stragglers, and I just use it, scraped that with a knife. I have this old knife that I got from somewhere. I don't even know where. Maybe from my grandfather or something, or maybe from a yard sale, or maybe from my father, or maybe from maybe I found it. Who knows? But um, it just works good for scraping this stuff off. And then there was also on this guy. So you can see here. Uh, I don't know if you saw any of the other videos, probably, but it's got the spring mechanism built in, and this one's super responsive because I made the jaws far enough apart, I made the 60 degree uh, angle on it so I can reach into, like from up against a panel like this, the full pliers one uh, couldn't really get access. So this gives me a lot more flexibility and it, the return spring worked great. You can see it's got three pivots. Uh, I'm not sure how much these two actually pivot. That one seems to be pivoting. I made those pivots very loose and this one uh, is obviously working. Uh, and this, this, this return spring. Uh, and a couple of little supports here because I wanted it uh, thick enough to be strong enough but I also wanted uh, the tips to be narrow because there's a groove in the I don't know if you can see that you can see the uh, there's like a channel here and so you have to be within the channel so when this thing is closed oh this one's a little busted up but when it's closed and it's sitting flat you have to get in under this channel uh, this one's a little busted unfortunately but no big deal um, and so what I, I need I do need to uh, quickly remove these just just little supports here that cause so you can see it's tapered in on this side and on this side but not on this side and not on this side because I printed uh, I made custom supports there make it narrower and then I can very easily remove these with this just right on the seam here and uh, same over here just get the seam top right off ah I got a little, I took a little extra that'll be fine I'll just cut it off well I'm glad that uh, didn't hit my eyeball the thing shot like a rocket and uh, like I see a couple of little spider webs here. Scrape those off with this knife. No big deal. I had a nice little debird tool. I don't know what happened to it. But uh, so as you can see here, this thing just works like a champ. And with the angle on it, I can, you know, if it's right up against something which happens because <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, great. I get this tool. And then, you know, uh, with, sphere with a spherical cow in a vacuum works great. If you don't get that joke, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, science joke. Um, uh, look it up. It's spherical cow in a vacuum. But, uh, uh, for a spherical cow in a vacuum, the other, uh, the plane style, not offset worked fine, but there were a bunch of spots where I just couldn't get it. I just didn't have access. So I made this narrower, made this hinge smaller, did the 60 degree offset, and now it just can reach anywhere that I need it to be and pull stuff out with ease. don't have to pry. I don't have to break the tips of these things. And it just works great. The return spring pops it right back open up. It's very durable because it's nylon. Very durable. I uh, definitely like printing with nylon. I mean, it's also flexible. Like I can flex this. Well, in the spring shows that and uh, can be very flexible but also very durable and if you go with the uh, either carbon fiber filled nylon or glass filled nylon uh, I don't know if they I don't know if they make fiberglass filled nylon filament they do make carbon fiber filled nylon filament which I have some but it all does wear out your uh, your extruder parts so you, you if you're gonna do larger parts with uh, carbon filled nylon you're gonna want a hardened nozzle and maybe hardened uh, extruder gears and I'm not sure it may wear out other parts too so I find that the uh, nylon itself is plenty strong 
for any of my high strength applications, plenty strong and durable. And I even to the point where I even made a pair of S hooks custom shaped that's like round on one side and square on the other side of the S uh, to hang from my uh, my weight rack, my power rack, uh, to get my barbell up out of the way when it's being stored. And um, so I designed the I designed them these hooks uh, specialized in nylon and did some uh, finite element analysis in my design software and just made them kind of overkill because it's a non-linear math problem because it's plastic and so it's uh, but anyway so, but you can still use it to optimize for the structural shape and see where the weak points would be and then just kind of give yourself a safety factor to make sure you're way within the strength of the materials and um and so I probably did like a extra, like a four to one safety factor on on the uh, stresses, given that it's a forty five pound barbell, and uh, and and uh, being three D printed nylon, it's not going to be as strong theoretically as as like you know uh, molded nylon, um, but. It, it it is actually really solid. Like I, there there is minimal la inter layer adhesion problems with nylon. It seems to uh, bond to itself very well, but it will split. So like when I split that there, it did split a little further in than I intended, but that's going to be fine. I mean it's it's going to work fine. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, anything else? I don't think so. Yeah. So anyways, the those hooks have been uh my barbell hangs from it all the time and i even i even pull down on it a little bit just to make sure it's plenty strong and it's really really strong like i couldn't do a chin up on it or anything i mean i mean can i do a chin up anyway <laughs> just kidding yeah I can do a chin -up. but um it is plenty strong enough uh for, like i said i did a like a four to one safety factor and i probably only need to do like a two to one safety factor and I probably i could probably put 80 pounds on you know, 90 pounds on it instead of 45 so this nylon, I definitely recommend this nylon. This is an Overture nylon filament. Uh, the label says Easy Nylon, but the advertisements just say nylon, and the pictures say Easy Nylon, but it's all just nylon. Definitely good stuff. Definitely happy with the design. Took me five uh, tries to get the design just right. I mean, the first one, I was able to make it work, but it was really big, and it, the angle wasn't offset, and I broke the hinge. And so I had to weld the hinge back together with my uh, 3D pen. Uh, oh, no, actually, I think I used... Uh, no, I didn't use the 3D pen. I used my uh, soldering iron, which is nice because you can dial the exact temperature right into the soldering iron. It's a very nice way to do it. And uh, so fifth try is, is really perfect. And uh, I might even put this up for download for anybody that wants to uh, use it. Let me know if... Because uh, I may forget to do that. And if anybody is interested in downloading it, uh, let me know, and I'll, I'll put a, I'll, I'll upload it, and then put a link. But uh, works great. And uh, so anyway, if you uh, if you found this interesting, uh, maybe help other people find it by clicking the thumbs up, and uh, maybe subscribe so you see uh, my future content. And uh, if you're crazy enough, you even hit the notification bell. Personally, I don't like notifications because I get too many notifications, and I don't like a lot of notifications. Uh, for a lot of junk. Of course, my stuff isn't junk. Everybody else might be, but my stuff is uh, not junk. But <laughs> but uh, anyway, so thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, my cat, with Godzilla, you may have seen the videos, uh, got injured. It looks like maybe he got attacked by a dog or, or another animal and uh, bit his uh, hind right leg and compound fracture. And they have to... Uh, <laughs> they have to uh, do reconstructive surgery on his leg and I had one of those moments yesterday where I was like oh man this is going to probably cost me like two thousand dollars you know and uh but I'm like yeah I'm, I'll do it I'll do it and so I go in there and they're like yeah it's going to be like uh if we amputate it, it's going to be like five thousand if we fix it it's going to be like six to eight thousand and I was like oh man and he's you know he's a 13 year old cat uh but he's otherwise healthy and great cat. And so I'm just biting the bullet. And uh, so I figured it's going to be like 8000 bucks if there's no complications. If there's complications, then that's really going to suck. But uh, so hopefully he's all right. 
I wish I had a Patreon to set up. Maybe people would help me uh, cover that if they think he's cute. But uh, I don't even have a Patreon, so that doesn't work. But uh, anyway, uh, even think about making a website to track his... Uh, I mean, not a website. Think about making a channel to uh, track his recovery. But I don't know if I want to do that. But uh, anyway, so... Uh, you know, if you, uh, I'm not a big uh, religious guy, but if anybody wants to uh, pray for my cat... Please do, Godzilla. You can see him in the other videos. Maybe I'll link to uh, I'll link to a playlist with a few. I just have a few little short little videos with him, and it's funny because they always get a bunch more hits than my three D printing videos, which is hilarious. Uh, but that's how cat videos go, right? So, well, anyway, let me know if you want this download. Uh, let me know if you want to see the cat recovery documentation. Uh, yeah, so I ended up in uh, ended up in at the uh, vet all day yesterday instead of kayaking which you know missing kayaking for the last nice day of the year was you know one percent of my concern but it was disappointing but uh my, my uh, cat in a serious injury definitely problematic but once they you know once they saw him and said yeah we can we can reconstruct them we have the technology it's just gonna cost a small fortune but uh it was like okay you know i'm not I'm not going to lose my house over it, so um, I'll make that move, and uh, hopefully it'll be all right. Well, well anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to uh, share with your like-minded friends, and uh, happy printing and uh, off-roading. That's pretty much uh, most of my life, and playing hockey. If you play hockey, have fun playing hockey. I play hockey three nights a week. Keeps me young in my old age. Good stuff. All right, thanks for watching.